Welcome back to my channel everyone. So in this video I'm going to be showing you um, me and my mate basically boarding out and carpet lining the storage area underneath my full width rock and roll bed in my Volkswagen Transporter T5.1 self build camper conversion um, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, it's just got so many different things done to it now. I don't even know what it is. Um, so yeah, basically, over the weekend, uh, what we've done, we got some MDF, uh, 18 mil MDF, boarded it out underneath and then done the sides, carpet lined it, um, re -put, put the fridge back in, refitted the panels so they're removable, uh, just to give the van a bit more of a nice uh, feel like underneath because before, like, before fitting all of that, what I noticed was like things was rattling around, like I had like literally just bare floor, bare metal exposed, and like if I put anything underneath the van, it just literally rattle. And yeah, it used to drive me mad. I can't stand rattling noises. So yeah, I thought the best way around this is to do what we've done. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you exactly what we've done, and then I'm also going to walk you around the van, show you the work, explain it, and all that sort of stuff. Um, so yeah, if you are new to my channel, please do subscribe and if you've got any questions please leave them below feel free to you know take the piss out of our workmanship if you want i don't mind um i must say though like the day that we've done it um we were very limited to uh, what tools we had so before we get any clever people commenting oh you should have done it this way it's like we know we don't mind though like we've literally we're not trying to be professionals in this we literally just wanted to get the job done um with the tools that we had and also the dodgy trestles that kept falling over every five minutes. So yeah, I hope you enjoy this video and let's get on with it. MDF boarding underneath it. Yeah, a bit more on my end really, you want to give it enough. Mm -hmm. Got a le lot left over one yeah. side. As long as we've got enough. Look, we're going to cut all around there, aren't we? Bring it down there.
So, um, yeah, it's all under here. So this is underneath the front now. So I've got all this area, which is all carpeted out. And um, you might not be able to see, the, oh, you can actually you can see the back of it. So yeah, it's all carpeted now, as before it was just like um, my ultra flooring, which was exposed and also like the metal works of the frame. I put an upstand here, so any boxes or anything that I put in here can't come flying forward. And then obviously my fridge, I've now moved that over. Um, you can see here where I cut off the old um, bedboard tabs and also moved the magnets to the outside. Uh, that's given me like an extra 100 mil, 100 millimeters, should I say, um, either way. So that's really good. Now I've cut that back. Um, just means I've got more storage space. I do, however, just need to finish off these bits. Just need to give them a bit of a paint and a bit of a fill uh, just to make that nicer. But obviously you can't see that because the bedboard is always down. Um, so yeah, I carpet lined the sides as well just to match, um, which looks really good. And then I'm gonna take you around the back and show you that. So at the back, um, what we've done is put a board on hinges, which basically comes across the whole of the rear, just to keep it nice and neat. Now you can still actually put stuff across the side, uh, sorry, across the back of the bed board, which is quite handy. So I've still got some in there. And this was, you know, purely to put like, basically like the toilet, the shower. You can see like I've got a shower here, I've got my toilet chemicals, going here uh, toilet just slides out kettle <laughs> got an iron don't ever really use it it's just a little travel one handy though in case i do ever need it and what i've done so you see it's all carpet lined i'm just going to move these bits um, these panels are removable so i've got these clips as you can see um, they're basically they come in like a pack of 10 from screw fix now they're like extra strong hold clips now all you do is put one end on the panel and then the other end on the other side so they slide out um, I'm just gonna move the toilet I'm just gonna put it here for a second now I'm just show you this panel as well which comes out Probably a bit tight actually it is definitely removable <laughs> somehow one second. That's never going to back in, is it? There we go. All right. So if I ever want to get like a, a bigger load through there, like if I've got anything a bit lengthy, um, I can just take this panel out and then refit it like so. Um, just push that back in. And then this one just goes there just to protect the back of the fridge. And then all my bits can go back. So it's really like a, I'd say this is like my bathroom storage area. Um, because obviously like the toilet and stuff lives here now. And also my 12 volt shower. Um, the next thing I'm gonna do is put a little control panel just at the back so I can plug the shower in. And yeah, that's really it. Pretty happy with it. So yeah, that's it. Hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you were wondering how much it cost me, I think the MDF was about 20 pounds for a sheet of 18 mil. Then I spent 10 pounds on the removable black plastic clips from Screwfix, that's 30 pounds. Um, a couple of cans of the spray adhesive. I think I used about one and a bit. So that, that cost me about, I think six or seven quid in total. So that's like 37 pounds. And then the carpet for like the, um, which I carpet lined it with, the Amphasite four-way stretch carpet. I actually had a load of that left over from when I carpet lined my van last year. So that didn't cost me anything. And then just a couple of L brackets. So in total, I think it cost me about 40 pounds for the materials. Um, plus it's much better than having drawers because like I said, if I um, was to put drawers in, that would have taken up a lot more space you know the time you've worked out the dimensions of the drawer and put the runners in and stuff so so yeah overall really happy and yeah thanks for watching my video don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment cheers and see you all again soon